Human beings are the only species on the planet to have single-handedly changed the atmosphere, altered global weather patterns, and threatened the natural world with resource depletion, habitat destruction, and species extinction. How do they connect and relate to each other and to the world at large? These are the kind of questions being asked by the Global Change and Sustainability Research Institute at Wits University. The main goal for creating the institute is to consolidate the strengths we have in the university around issues of global change, climate change and sustainability. The thing about global change is that it is systemic, it is complex and there is no one part that is most important. Problems that affect us in terms of scarcity of water, changing uh, temperature levels, the use of energy are all complex problems that actually require complex solutions. By its nature, what we believe is coming from climate change, you need many different skills to tackle it. You need economics and business to try and organize your economy better. You need the sciences to predict what's going to happen. You need the engineers to build things better. You need the lawyers to tell us what we can and can't do, legally speaking. So that's the way we understand it. We, you can't tackle it through a single faculty. We have bridge the gap across a number of faculties at the university. So there is a, a lively group of global change researchers interested and keen to contribute. Our role in the new uh, Global Change and Sustainability Research Institute is to bring in um, a wealth of research experience in, in, in a number of, of topics that range from poverty, underdevelopment, uh, issues about migration, environmental degradation, uh, climate change itself. And one of the things that we will count on is our location in South Africa because we have in this country a laboratory for the challenges that are faced by so many different parts of the world. The university wants to work with the community of South Africa. And for that, we have to engage the people who work in civil society, business and government. So we are starting with the internally to create the interdisciplinary uh, platform for learning and research and teaching, but at the same time, create the ability to reach out to other stakeholders out there. It's getting that message out beyond science. And I think that scientists have been particularly bad at doing that. They don't get their message out really well. They can write the science up and they can tell you what's going on with the atmosphere and how a cloud will rain less if you add more aerosols to it. But what does that mean for the man in the street? And it's the Institute's challenge to turn that science into a human management strategy for both local, provincial and the national government. I think that what is important is that this is a, a very bold step being taken by Wits University to take its role in society very seriously in terms of inquiry. And the way that we're going about it means that we can bring together business, government and communities to actually tackle some very serious and complex problems. And so I think if there's a message that we want to send out in terms of the Institute and the work that we will be doing is that we want to engage and we want to do that work in partnership. So the next time someone asks you, how's the weather in your neck of the woods, you'll know that a large multidisciplinary team is working in a revolutionary new way to find the answer.